I'm Sandy Lee. I'm the volunteer project leader for the Reliance Project. We've spent the last five years building a 1-6 scale model of the 1903 America's Cup winner. The, the scale was selected before our team worked on the boat. The unfinished hull came to us. It is 1-6 scale. That scale was already established. So if you think back to the English empirical measurement that we all labor under, which is half inch, eighth inch, quarter inch, sixteenth, try dividing all those by six. So as we try to scale this boat down and we work off of the drawings from Harrisov, we are always doing conversions. Our saving grace actually is the photocopier, because if I can go off of the drawing size to the size of the real part, I can do ratio reductions on the photocopier and I can get scale size parts. So why 1-6 scale was chosen, I am not sure. They wanted an immense model. But the other irony of it is the GI Joes turn out to be close to 1-6 scale. So my tongue in cheek is that this whole thing was done so Hasbro could have 60 GI Joes on our boat. The most difficult part was learning to rely on Nat Harrisoff's drawings. Because in truth, much of what we're doing is one lost art of building, lost art of rigging, lost art of manufacturing. And when you pull together all these parts into sub-assemblies, assemblies, and put them on the boat, you suddenly realize there was a reason why in the drawing it called for you to do something. Just because you didn't understand it doesn't mean that that gives you license to vary from it. So we learned very early that if we follow the plans, all will be revealed to us in due time. As to individual parts, each, each part of the project has its own particular difficulties. Some of them are technical, some of them are just laborious. For example, fairing the hull took four months. I thought it was just going to be a, a, a long weekend or maybe a week, but what was happening in the background was we have highly skilled artisans and they were upping the standard by which this boat would be judged such that you had to have a perfect hull. Um, you, you had to have perfect parts that could work. So the concept for it changed by the dynamics of all these incredible artisans that came on board, which is part of the journey that we're on uh, doing this, is it's not just building a boat, it's a learning research vessel.